Hi, this is Robert Thibodeau from the Mayflower Bookshop. Mayflowerbookshop.com is a website. And on YouTube with songs and other talks. Today I'd like to... Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Today I'd like to talk to you about meditation. Meditation is critically important. My first spiritual mentor, teacher, Philip Knight, Philip thought that you could not make it. A person could not really be fully successful. One couldn't become a forever friend and have lasting happiness nor enlightenment if one didn't meditate. It's a big problem, like learning what meditation is. There's thousands of books on it. And there's thousands and thousands of people that have information on it. And yet each one of us has to find that unique key that opens the quiet mind. It opens the voice of the silence that speaks from our, the depth of our heart. <clears throat> each of us has to discover for ourselves something that will root us, still us, distill our experience into wisdom, know-how, insight, courage, bravado, skillful means in action. When we die, I mean, it's a great time to meditate when we die. We're at the tip of an ecstatic pleasure an orgasmic, ecstatic pleasure, or right as we're getting into a huge accident or tragic event. It's really great to meditate at the deepest place of our sleep. It's really deep idea to like awaken in our meditation, the deepest point of our meditation, to have some communion or communication with the universal good, true, and beautiful with God or everything we love. But it's kind of tricky, you know, when you're right at that moment of death, you can't call on further instruction. You don't have a lot of time for a fancy meditation practice. Like some noise happens and the plane is crashing, the car is crashing. Our body is crashing. Our mind is crashing. What do we do? How do we meditate? I mean, like, come on, let's get to it. How do you meditate? And um, I'm, I'm here to share what I think <clears throat> is the core of meditation. And it won't let you down at that millisecond of death, car accident, dying in your sleep, you know. The thousand and one ways that you can get lost. But there's one sure way that we can find ourselves. And, and I want to share that with you. I think that meditation is a very quick look At our inward silence, our inner space cup. Again, there's not easy words for this, but, but you have to experience it directly. That within each one of us is, a, is like for lack of words, you know, for me to be able to tell you something. I have to say something, you know. So how about that each one of us has a beautiful cup open awareness, stillness, and silence that can actually cup the second or moment you're in. That one can, you can look within yourself, you can quiet your senses in your mind, you can quiet your mind, and you can look within yourself, the, sil the silent mind beholding the silent inner self. that's cupping or holding the world 
at that moment. I think there's a practice of meditation is different maybe than meditation. The practice of meditation is as simple as please give me enlightenment so I can help all those who suffer. I let go of my breath and as I breathe in, please give me enlightenment. As I breathe in, the wish, please give me enlightenment. I breathe in and I look at my silence. My mind and my senses become still and I perceive, behold, the sacred space, stillness, holding the world, holding this moment. So the practice of meditation, please give me enlightenment. And I look at my quiet space, the, the womb of the heart of the great mother giving birth to my Buddha, Christos, hero, Artemis, my Apollo, my Dionysus, my Joan of Arc, 